Welcome to our lecture online. Now our next example is actually a very practical example if you ever decide to continue with your mathematics and start taking calculus because these types of things are done in calculus actually quite a bit. What we're asked to do here is to factor out a common factor from this binomial. So how do you do that? Well it turns out what you must look for is to make sure you have a common base and then you look at the exponents and find the smallest exponent and the one half is the smallest exponent. Which means you're going to factor out an x to the one half. So this is equal to x to the one half times what's left and this will be 4x to some exponent and that's the one we need to find minus 5 times 1. For example x to the one half times 1 gives us x to the one half back but now x to the one half times x to what exponent gives us three halves back. So essentially what we're trying to do is we're saying x to the one half times x to some exponent gives us back x to the three halves. And remember the rule when you multiply and the base are the same you add exponents. So essentially one half plus what gives us three halves. And the answer is a half plus one is three halves. One plus a half is three halves. So in other words the exponent that goes in here is equal to the exponent 1. Essentially this is equal to x to the 1 half power times 4x to the first power, we don't have to write that, minus 5 and that is how we factor out a factor that has a, fa a fractional exponent or a rational exponent. So again you look for the smallest exponent, you factor that out, here you can clearly see that x to the 1 half times 1 gives us back x to the 1 half but x to one half times what? x to what power gives us back x to the three halves and a half plus one is indeed three halves. So that's the final answer and that is how it's done.